Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to this place that I call the Retro Room. Now in today's video I shall be taking a look at this from McFarlane Toys. It is the Batman and Spawn taken from the uh, one-off 1994 comic of the same name where Batman and Spawn team up eventually uh, to fight off a common villain which is all about um, this person taking homeless people and removing their brains and putting them into cyborgs. Interesting story. Here is the front cover for that uh, one-off comic. It uh, pays homage to uh, Frank Miller's uh, The Dark Knight Returns, although this is not in continuity, this is just a one-off that they did. We have Todd McFarling doing all the arty stuff. So, there we are. Let's, uh, let's have a closer look at the box. Okay, so here we go. The uh, From McFarlane Toys, the DC Multiverse Batman and Spawn. So this isn't a blind unboxing. I have already uh, um, you know, unboxed all this, apart from the sword there, um, to have a look at the figures. So I've already sort of uh, have a conclusion to uh, what we've got here. But anyway, here's the box. Uh, at the bottom you can see they've got a couple of the, uh, the logos there which were used on the front cover of the comic. Insert here. Sort of typical of the final box, you know, it is very recognisable. You can see there, Batman Spawn, based on comics by Todd McFarlane. On the rear, we've got a nice uh, sort of picture there of the two characters from the comic. Again, it's just uh, the same on the side there, Batman and Spawn. And that's it for the box. Quite easy, nice, plain and simple. Um, as you can see on the back there, there's actually two uh, sort of, you know, they sort of split the uh, backing in half there. You've got your sort of more traditional uh, white and blue background and Spawn has a sort of green and black one. But we'll come on to that in a second. So as you can see, uh, Batman does come with a few accessories, uh, a, a batarang and a couple of, well, a pair of hands. I keep saying a couple. No, it's one pair of hands. And Spawn just comes with this uh, like massive sword thing. Now this is actually quite a nice box and it almost feels a shame to open it up. Almost. So let's uh, open this up and have a look. So there's the back of the box I was explaining to you a moment ago. There's the sort of green and black there for Spawn. As you can see as well, we do get a couple of stands and a couple of character cards, which I'm now gonna go through. So here is Batman's character cards. As you can see there, all sort of uh, typical stuff. I'm sure you know the history of Batman. He comes just with the, uh, you know, the sort of standard, uh, you know, stand, which is fine. And Spawn's character card as well. Again, just with a short bio there. Really like how they sort of changed the, uh, you know, they've gone from this sort of more traditional looking one to, you know, it's got its own sort of look to it. I really like it. And also the stand, again, they've actually got the effort of actually making this a bit more interesting looking. Um, it's a shame that they couldn't have stuck the, uh, you know, the Batman symbol on this one. But there we go. Um, this does feel like a sticker, but it's not. It is a uh, transfer. And you can probably see there the uh, moulding isn't quite as good. But it doesn't matter. I still like it anyway. Also in the box we get this uh, massive card there with the same picture from the back of the box. But on the other side, we get this, uh, sort of all these sort of skulls and sort of demon looking creatures. Now, the image on the back isn't quite as good as the one on the other side. Um, the camera has sort of like fixed this, but the resolution to the human eye isn't that great. It's a bit sort of pixelated, but uh, no, on camera it does actually look quite nice. It's a shame it doesn't look like that in uh, real life, but there we go. But there is more to this, which I'll come to in just a moment. Because also in the box, we get this. 
Now, when I initially saw this, I thought it was a, you know, a stand for the characters to go on to, and it's not. This is a stand for that uh, backing card, as I will now demonstrate. There, so we have a nice way to display this uh, piece of card. Let's have a look, Let's see how it looks on the other side. I might have a look and see what I'm doing this time. There we are. We can have it that way around. Um, I not decided if, if I'll use this or not. I probably will. I'll probably just display all this together. Uh, I'll probably have it on this side then. It's a bit more interesting. Yeah, on the uh, base, if I can get the camera to focus, you can see there's you know, little skulls and other nasty things on there. Really nicely sculpted this. Um, yeah, they've done a good job. It's just a hollow piece, as you can see there. But uh, yeah, I do appreciate uh, little things like this in the box. So let's take a look at Batman. Here he is. So the reason why I uh, purchased this is because I really do like the uh, the character design of Batman in this, and uh, really fancy picking him up. So very typical uh, McFarlane design. Uh, we have the usual sort of way they uh, you know articulate their uh, figures. Comes with a uh, you know this sort of hard plastic cape already sort of shaped and things. Obviously the uh, downside of that is it makes them very heavy. The usual sort of uh, paintwork, which is pretty good. But let's look at the old head sculpt there, because uh, yeah, this Batman does look like he's uh, well pretty annoyed. They've done a really good job on the expression there. He looks like a tortured soul with his cheekbone sticking out there and his white teeth. And uh, yeah, they've done quite a good job with this sort of colorization around his uh, you know around his cheeks. The eyes, they're uh, sort of like this almost gold looking colour, which is quite interesting. And uh, I do quite like the design of his ears. They're not just long, but they're sort of swept back, which uh, I think really adds to the character. Also, you can see there, like the outline of his ear, which is quite nice. It's a nice little touch. And overall, they've done a really good job with the head sculpt, I believe. Painting wise, yeah, there's probably see under his nose there we've got a little bit of paint bleed but uh, it's nothing too bad moving down to his sort of chest now you can probably obviously see that the emblem just isn't quite done right uh, the yellow obviously doesn't reach all the way to the bottom of the oval there uh, which is a bit of a shame a bit of overspill on the top and on the uh, right hand side there as well um, it's a bit annoying for me, anyway, I'd rather it wasn't like that, but um, you know, that's the problem with buying things online. You can't actually pick which one you want when you're in the shop, but there we go. You see on his sort of lower sort of midriff there, some scratch marks or some sort of damage there from some previous uh, battle damage, if you like. The belt's very plain, it's just uh, in the sort of yellow colour. His arms, yep, they're pretty good. Uh, again, they've gone with this sort of long design for the gauntlets which I quite like, and his legs as well. There we go, they're pretty plain, his legs to be fair. Um, it's the sort of usual sculpting, usual design for the uh, articulation. And the boots, yeah, they're, they're reasonably plain. Uh, again, they just look like a, uh, a pair of, uh, you know, plain shoes. There's nothing, no, there's no real sort of uh, anything fancy on there. And the cape, as I say, very heavy, very rigid. Um, I do have some missing paint just there. But uh, it's been sculpted very nice, and I quite like these horns we have on top of the cape as well. It's a nice little touch. Now, articulation, he is uh, quite a loose um, character. I'm not too sure, because I quite fancy having these two poses sort of fighting each other like they do in the comic. Um, but uh, with his hips being quite loose, I'm not too sure how much I'll be able to articulate his character, especially with this really heavy cape, because uh, he, he does want to fall backwards all the time. But this does come with some accessories. We do have another pair of hands, which I will swap over now. There we go, there's his other pair of hands. We have sort of a, a gripped hand for his battering and a clenched fist. Plenty of details on his hands, actually. Uh, you can see there his knuckles quite clearly and the padding around the top of his hand. And the battering itself uh, is just, it's quite a plain looking thing, just shaped and painted black. It uh, looks okay, I guess. And uh, he holds it uh, reasonably well. You have to quite wedge it in, but uh, 
There he is, wielding his Bratarang. I think that's a little bit too big for me. Um, sort of out of size of character. I mean, where I mean, where he's going to keep this size person? It's just, um, yeah, just a little bit too big, I find. And uh, yes, but uh, I think I'll probably have him with his other hands on. Like so, there we go. They're sort of, uh, you know, I don't know what the what the pose is supposed to be, but I quite like it. It's a bit, it's a bit different. But yeah, there's Batman. So we'll come back to a conclusion in a moment because let's have a look at Spawn. And here is Spawn. Yes, I really like Spawn and I wish they'd hurry up and decide whether they're gonna make a movie or not. It's been in development for so long. <laughs> uh, but let's talk about the figure. So a very interesting character on his own. There you go, so the head sculpt. There, it's uh, obviously, it's a good likeness for Spawn. Uh, it's, it can't be too hard to get it wrong, I suppose. But as you can see there, we've got the green eyes, and uh, yeah, the sculpting is pretty good. Uh, they've got, they've done a good job of uh, the paint work. For the rest of the figure, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's just, they've not painted the plastic, it's just the black plastic they've used in the molding process. Uh, and they just painted, you know, the white over it and stuff like that. But there's his sort of, uh, chain belt around his uh, waist there and of course you know he does come with various bits of uh, you know armor accessories like his uh, the pouches around his leg there and this massive thing on his leg now I'm not actually a fan of, of this I'd rather it could either come off or um, you know it wasn't with it at all it reminds me of um, Hellboy a bit it must be the red and that sort of shape, you know, that's almost like his arm, but like, obviously like the spiky bits on there. Um, yeah, rather it's all like this one. But the bonus point is, you know, when you go to stand him up, you know, he has got something to rest on, um, even again. But again, as you can see, it did fall backwards, because again, we do have a very heavy, uh, plastically rubbery cape, which is, but you know, it's been sculpted very, very well, as you can see. Uh, some of the black is bleeding through the red there. You can probably see a bit there, a bit there. There's a little bit on top there, but it's not. It's not anything bad. But it's a, it is a nice sculpt, and you know, it's all. You know, it looks like it's moving around in the wind and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the down thing with farm toys. They do insist on having these really heavy, um, you know, sculpted capes on them. But yeah, there's not really too much to tell about this uh, figure, really. Um, again, like the Batman, really loose hips, so displaying him is going to be interesting. Although this is a big, you know, cape, uh, his arms do move around pretty well. Um, obviously, you can go that high up before the cape gets in the way. Not so bad this side, there is a bit more movement. But that's because he does have his uh, mighty sword here. There. So this is the only accessory that comes with spawn. Again, it's been you know nicely sculpted, plenty of detail. You've got the green eyes on there, various scratches and dents from various fights. But yeah, this is uh, the accessory that comes with Spawn. We'll just plop it in his uh, his hand, shall we? Like so. There, an oversized sword. <laughs> it looks too big. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that is massive, isn't it? And there is our unlikely team up. So, as you can see with uh, Batman there, he does have to sort of pose in a bit of a funny way. Um, it's because of his hips. They are, I say, very loose, and because the capes are heavy, he just wants to fall down. Um, so yeah, that is a bit annoying. I'm sure if you want to play around with this for some time, you could get him in a decent pose, um, but for me, recording this on camera it is a bit fiddly. And he's, yeah, off he goes. There we go. Again, it's these capes, they're just far too heavy. And if the, um, if the joints aren't, you know, fairly rigid, you know, these are going to want to fall over. But there we go. That's the nature of their design. It's almost as if you have to have them leaning forward just a little bit but even then you know it is a bit touch and go whether or not um they stay upright sport on the other hand is a bit more stable but that's pretty much because of this piece it you know makes it a bit more firm 
and uh, he doesn't really want to go anywhere, which is good. So yeah, I would say uh, Spawn would definitely uh, win this battle quite easily. Yeah. Spawn is the winner. So there we go, from McFarlane Toys. The uh, Batman and Spawn from the uh, one-off 1994 comic. Now I am really pleased to have these figures. Uh, as I've already said, I really do like the design of Batman and Spawn is looking pretty good as well. Obviously, uh, my main issues with this is with the painting on Batman and the articulation, especially around on, you know, on the hips and on the legs. They are very loose, so posing him is going to be awkward, but uh, I may have to come up with a solution to tighten up those uh, joints. So I can display him in a more interesting way. As for Spawn, again, there's not really anything wrong with the figure, apart from some of the black coming through on the cape, which I've already explained. But it still looks pretty good. Anyway, that is it for this, uh, for, well, for this week's figure review. More coming next week. And also, don't forget, behind me there, I am building the 118th scale bat cave to go with my 118th scale batmobile. And those videos are out every Thursday at 9pm UK time. And I have a very conveniently made a playlist there, which I've left in the description, or you can check that out on my channel page, where you can go back and watch what we've got up to so far. Anyway, until the uh, next one, I'll see you later. It's Matt in the retro room. Join Matt in the retro room. Watch Matt in his retro room. Subscribe for more and stay tuned.